Welcome to my channel. This is JC Rock and Metal Reviews. My name is John, and today I have another anniversary for you. Today it is the 30th anniversary of Sepultura Arise. So before I begin, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I do our rock and metal reviews and rankings and more. And if you haven't checked out Metal Ben's Chronicles, check him out. He did a live stream of this same album a few hours ago. So I will link it in my video description so you can check it out. Check out his channel and give him a sub because he, he got a great channel. So, so I got into a Sepultura around uh, mid-2000s. It was a time I was listening to a lot of like new metal like Korn and System of a Down. But one day I decided to pick up a compilation called The Best of Sepultura. And this had most of the hits from the Max Cavalera era from their debut up to Roots. And I've been a fan ever since. I do have a preference for the Max Cavalera era, but there are also some really good albums from the Derek Green period. So by the way, Derek Green uh, replaced Max after the Roots album when he left. But like I said, there are some good albums, for example, Kairos, that's an awesome one. And their last album, Quadra, another great album. So Sepultura is definitely one of my favorite bands. Experimentally. Okay, let's look at the CD booklet right now. Now, this is a really uh, cool uh, piece of artwork, and it's also very strange. It's kind of hard to figure out. It's one of those album covers. You have to look, look at it for a while because it has a crab. There's like a woman up there, an eyeball, some like, uh, you know, tribal stones back there. There's like a path, a castle. It's really like, really cool. You know, it's really kind of hard to... Uh, see what's you know understand what's going on in the picture but it's a really cool album cover so let's let's look at the booklet so we have some uh, lyrics here you know the first song is called uh, you know arise dead embryonic cells we got these lyrics i really like sepultura's lyrics because they talk about you know like growing up in brazil and going through all the hard times and um, you know their lyrics reflect that they talk a lot about like corruption and you know, social issues, world problems. On vocals and rhythm guitar, we got Max Cavalera. Here's a photo of him. And on lead guitar, we have uh, Andreas Kisser. Some more lyrics with uh, subtraction, altered state, under siege, meaningless moments. So I really like the book on this one. And here's some more band photos. You know, you can see these are all like group photos. These guys were actually pretty young when this album came out and uh, you know there's some liner notes that has some info I kind of took some of my info from that you know when I was speaking before and uh, there's another photo and there's the bass player Paolo Jr. and on drums is Igor Cavalera and you know there's uh, some more lyrics and a special thanks so this album starts out with a title track called uh, Arise. There's some like ominous sounds to open up the album, but this song just rips right out of the gate. The tempo is super fast and has some amazing riffs. Max's vocals are you know, very powerful and the lead playing is very good. After that is another classic called uh, Dead Embryonic Cells. You know, you hear some industrial sounds in the beginning. This is another heavy song that slows down the tempo a bit. You know, this is where Sepultura begin to introduce some of their like futuristic leads. The song has a few like faster sections that you know would be a perfect song for for a mosh pit. You know, you got an awesome breakdown and just like a perfect song for headbanging. After that is Desperate Cry. Now on this one they get a little like more experimental. You know, they start out with a clean guitar goes into a really chugging riff. You know, this song goes through some like tempo changes to keep it interesting. There's some really good lead guitar playing uh, by Andreas. And you hear they start to experiment with some more like, like industrial sounds towards the end of the song. You know, after that is Murder. This is more like straightforward, you know, thrash metal. Just one of those songs moving at breakneck speed and just one of those that will get your blood pumping. After that is Subtraction. 
you hear a little bit of that like Injustice for All, uh, Metallica influence on this one. Very fast thrash metal track, got some killer wrists. Got some really good like drum beats by Igor. And it's a really cool like galloping breakdown. And this is where you hear like Paolo's uh, bass tone. It has a really like nice crunchy tone. After that is Altered State. Now this is where we first hear those tribal drums and wind instruments that would later appear on their next two albums. This song is more reminiscent of uh, Chaos AD sound and they probably took like the sound from this song and like just evolved with it. The song does take the tempo down a notch and it has some really like heavy riffs and this song also has some of the best lead guitar playing. After that is Under Siege and Regum Ire, which is uh, the Latin for In the Kingdom of. This is another heavy song with some eerie, like the echo effects in the vocals. Now in some sections, uh, we got some like cool breakdowns and some really like uh, crunchy riffs here. And after that, we have meaningless movements. This has some like start and stop riffs. This is another heavy song. And the guitar solo really stands out in this one. Sepultor has a signature style on, on their solos. And it is just that tone that, you know, the sound of their guitar that separates them from the other thrash bands. And the album closes out with Infected Voice. And this is the closing track. It's a banger and it just moves at high speed and closes out the album. You know, like I showed in the CD before, I have the um, remastered version. And this one includes a uh, cover of Orgasmatron, like I was saying before. It has intro, criminals in uniform, and Desperate Cry to Scott Burns mix. So this is a really good deal. I do recommend picking up this uh, version of it. And uh, that is it. Let me know what do you think of Sepultura Arise. What do you think of the band in general and their other albums? And, you know, let's uh, get some comments going. Coming up this weekend, I have some new releases. And uh, before that, I have another anniversary, which I was going to do today. But then I just uh, found uh, out Sepultura came out today. So I wanted to jump on the Sepultura first. But I have another anniversary tomorrow. Got some new uh, releases, uh, Evanescence, Tomahawk. And I'll see what else I can do. That is it. I will uh, see you in the next one.